YouTube video I'm so excited and my name is Sarjan and I'm going to show you today how you can create a react application with the benefits of TypeScript and uh, we will use we will create a Google Maps uh, project by doing that so let's go to the work and I hope you can have fun so like a typical react application we are going to first run the npx command where we say create uh, react app and then we will going to be i will name my application as google map and to be able to set your react application as a typescript project you need to set the flag template to typescript and as you may guess this process will take a little bit of time so meanwhile i can do more talking um, in this project, we will create a Google Maps uh, application. It will be quite simple. I'm going to show you how you can um, use the uh, use TypeScript, and uh, I, I think it is quite beneficial to use TypeScript instead of ECMAScript while you're working with Map because there are different types that are uh, data types that are defined by uh, Google while you're working with maps so typescript using it it becomes quite beneficial and and working with google map is maps is quite uh, buggy so i think using it with uh, typescript is a good decision so we will just start an app and i guess that will be the like part one of my videos and in the part two i will show you like how you can make the markers and etc and meanwhile my project has been created so as you can see i can change the folder google map but we will not continue here of course this is just a terminal i'm using webstorm so i will open my project via webstorm should be under my youtube stuff and new video window so this is our default React application with TypeScript settings. So of course we have to start with deleting some of the random, uh, some of the redundant stuff that's coming by default. So I don't want logo, I don't want the test files, I don't want service worker, setup test. So these will be deleted. And what should we do next? So we may continue cleaning a little bit here, like logo.svg should be go. And we can have only an app class name. So on the, I will keep margin zero and I will remove this code CSS also from index.css. And as you may have noticed that TypeScript files are having the extension TSX. So I will remove the service worker here as well. So maybe I can make my stuff bigger. And this one also will go. Don't ask again. And yes, index.tsx starts our app component. So the rest may I guess they can stay. Oh yeah, we can delete all of this redundant stuff. Yeah. So it looks like we are almost ready to start. So a Google Maps uh, DOM, it starts like with a div item that you are uh, creating, but I don't want to do it direct, program it directly on my app component. So instead, we will be uh, creating a new um, new folder where I will have my uh, map uh, component. So I just create a folder and I call it as map. And here we will use, we will create three files. But before doing that, I can actually, okay, I'll just continue with that. So we need an index.typescript file. So yeah, just add to git <laughs> and um, 
we need a, I like working with sus, so I will create my style file as a sus file. So, and we need the map component file. So, so but before we go further, let's install um, our um, sus uh, module for npm and to do that we need to run npm install node sas so that will install in my node modules as sas component sas module so that will help me of course during this project we will not be writing a lot of uh, css but it's just my habit and I thought I think you may agree with me, with me that SAS is quite beneficial while working. And uh, meanwhile, we can actually work under map.tsx, I guess. So what we should do here, we should create a um, component from scratch, right? So then we will do import react from react so and a typical component usually has a name and it will be react dot functional component and it should have a type here but I'm going to leave this one okay maybe I should write it I will call it imap so and we should have uh, the props where we need actually mm, okay we should do that after we are writing the uh, interface here let's skip this part so far so we create this functional component and what we should do is export default map so this is like how we start uh, our uh, map component and in the index part I want to use just a, um, a like an export uh, interface here so it will be like default so from map so this will refer to my map.tsx six file so maybe I should get bigger font yeah so I will create my um, interface now so we call it interface I map and I need actually for my map component basically for now um, two different props so I will like you will understand better as we go further with that. So the first one will be like map type and it will be actually a um, Google Maps uh, type that I don't know how to express this better. So we are going to use, as I said earlier, we will use some types that are coming from uh, Google Maps. So to do that, you need to also write uh, uh, run another command so to be able to install google types so to do that we need to write let's clear so we need to write npm install and since this is a, a development dependency we need to give the flag save dev and it will be types and google maps so running this command will add um, Google Maps types uh, to my project. So I'm just running it now. And the next actually, meanwhile, it's doing that. Um, the next um, uh, prop will be map type control and it will be a Boolean 
and um, I don't think it has to be obligatory. So in TypeScript, if you want um, a props to be not to be like obligatory, you can just uh, put a question mark. So that will help. So now we have uh, the types coming from Google Maps. So we can verify it here in the node modules. If you open this folder, you will see the types here. And there are like different projects have different types. And then now we have this Google Maps. So this is how we will refer to our types. So the type, this map type, it's used uh, for Google Maps to decide, like for us to decide what kind of map we want to show uh, to our user. Do you want a, like a satellite vision or a road map? So that is the uh, point of doing that. So we are using Google namespace as suggested by WebStorm here. And then we write maps and we call it map type ID. So, so this is my uh, type for this map type <laughs> data. And I have a funny failure here. And I think that is because of, okay, I will just try to run and see what's going on. NPM start. Because I don't think this is a real error. And we can write something here. Hello world, classic. So I'm trying to start my uh, React application. Hmm. It gives the same error. I remember I had this before. I don't know why this is happening, but to fix it, uh, I'm going to delete my node modules folder. All of it. And then I will run npm install again. So I had this uh, error before. I don't know why it's happening. So yeah, let's run. So M node modules is gone and I'm running npm install. So I guess this will fix this problem. So we can look at map. We can go back there and uh, we can type our um, props as map type and map type control. And I want to give, because we put the question mark here, I want to give a default value. And I will just call it like by default, it will be false. So that's it. So what else do we need? I just want to make sure that this bug will be gone. Yeah, let's see. I think it should be working now. Still starting the development server. Hmm, yeah, this error is gone. Although WebStorm still claims that probably it's because of indexing. So we have another error right now. And yeah, the error, uh, this error is gone. So that means we can move forward. So we have a const and we are sending it and why is this happening the void is not assignable 
Why is this happening? Maybe it's because we didn't return anything. So what we should do is we can return another div. Yeah. Now it's gone. So <laughs> yeah, that was a funny thing. So we will use this um, this component will be called by app component. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to basically um, render this part but before we get there actually um, we can write this is map component and so we can also create here like make the reference by using map like that so of course it's asking for the map type and this is the types that we one of the types that we uh, installed turn out it will be handy call it google dot maps dot map top id dot roadmap for example as you see there are like different uh, options here you have four options terrain satellite hybrid but i will go for roadmap so which is handy and i'm going to set for now it has no functionality at all i'm going to set map type control as true that will make sense later and then we can see how it looks like reference Google is not defined of course we cannot use this right now because first we need to install Google we need to we need to download we need to our um, application homepage should be downloading the um, uh, Google Maps script so I'm going to like just skip this part for now and then we will go as you know like Google Maps is uh, asking the developers to load its own API uh, into onto their into our, their uh, web pages so what we should do is we need to create a utility function that I'm going to call it uh, I'm going to put it in a, another map another folder I will call it so utils and I'm going to create a new file it will be called Google Maps utils dot typescript so this will be um, I'm going to write a function here so it and I'm I need to of course export it so export const load map api so get a bigger font here so so this is a trick part so we need to this uh, function will check your um, page where you are creating where you are calling actually the map and it will look up the script tags and then through the script tags you will check if um, map api has been already downloaded by your application and if it's not it will just edit if it is already done so it will skip this part so to do that we need first a variable and i'm going to call it maps url maybe like this so I'm going to use this quotes, 
quality. Uh, let me just no, we need to do it this way. HTTPS and maps dot Google APIs dot com the maps API and Yodes JS question mark key. So this key part is actually crucial here and um, you may of course uh, to be able to use google maps you need to have an account and you need to use this uh, key that google maps api key from google and uh, if you don't have it you will uh, just um, you will just see the warning saying that this is like for development purposes so you can still do programming although it's not pretty but um, to be i see that people are usually googling uh, that how they can uh, add the key here and we will come to this part uh, soon so instead i will be just keep on writing uh, the rest of the um, the rest of the uh, url so like libraries we can put these additional uh, uh, parameters where i will call places and language i'm going to set it to norwegian because i live in norway <laughs> and version i'm going to set it to quarterly so one of the things that you should understand about google while you're working with google maps there are so many so many different parameters so uh, for example the last one that we just set here it's actually not obligatory but um, it is helpful so Google Maps, is of course, they are updating themselves. And uh, if you want your uh, map um, to be like its software to be updated in quarterly basis, you can set it uh, with this tag. So that's why. So you just need to look up their manual. So now we have these maps URL um, ready for us. So what we will do is actually we will create a script item referring to this uh, URL. So to do that, um, we need also um, uh, we need to collect all the scripts uh, into into a variable, into a const. So to do that, you need to use like vanilla JavaScript, and I'm going to do like get element by tag name, and the tag is of course script. So in a home page there is not only one script uh, tag there are so many so we will get all scripts into this variable and then i'm going to go through them with a for loop so for let i equals zero and as you guess i as long as i is smaller than the length of scripts so we will go through these uh, items and then i plus plus so so now i'm going through every uh, script tag on my uh, page wherever i'm running this utility so if the current script this is the current script source and if it's, it's a, this is a uh, string value, so like this one, like maps URL, if it has any, uh, if it's actually the same with maps URL, so like this, if the index is zero, if entire URL is the same on the source, so I'm going to return it. And I will also, of course, break my break my for loop so that means in this case if this case is met so that means the google maps url was already loaded so if the utility function went through all of this and um, it didn't return so far 
that means we need to create it and we need to load it so i will create um create a dom element here which will be called google map script and uh, i will use document and create element here i'm going to give it tag script of course so and we will now edit its uh, parameters like its attributes so its script source as you may guess it will be maps url so and there are two other crucial uh, parts which are async according to google maps um, Google Maps documentation, you need to set this true. You need to have, I mean, async and def defer um, parameters also set for this, um, for this tag. So I'm just setting them like this. So, so we will just append it now into window by using the global variable. Sorry and child and it will be google maps script so that's it and we can still return now google maps script as dom so this function is quite critical and uh, i didn't forget about the key i will we will get back there so we need this function to make sure that this URL becomes uh, encapsulated as a script and then it is also like appended into our DOM. So I use this uh, utility in actually not in the app, in the map, I will use it in the app. So mm, how should we do that? Yes, we need actually uh, for our app a new, a new hook and it will be um, checking if the um, mm, script loaded, right? So that's why I call it ah, with a larger font for you. Script loaded, set, script loaded. And it will be, it will be a um, Boolean type. So, by default, when before the mounting, it will be false. So this will help us to figure out if the script has been already loaded. So of course, I'm going to relate this to my utility function. So if we create this use effect, like component did mount in the class components of React before. So I'm creating a function part of it and empty array because we just do it we will run this on mount once so i create um, google map script variable here like constant and i'm going to use now my load map api like it's been referenced here automatically by webstorm so what we do is uh, we are just actually like running this uh, function here and and we are making sure that the script has been loaded but this is not enough so to be able to make sure uh, to be able to avoid any uh, concurrency issues we need to make sure that the script has been added to the dom and it's been also loaded so that's why i created this uh, counts valuable so when because here we are doing some asynchronous job and appending child and will automatically like uh, load the uh, content of the script so we need to therefore we are like sending here this google map script like dom element uh, itself the, the one that we created here so i will listen to this const with event listener and when it is loaded I'm going to set my hook. So 
that is important part and as you may notice there is one thing I don't like actually about uh, writing Google Maps is uh, we are writing quite modern um, we, we are using quite modern framework here and uh, but using add event listener or other um, vanilla JavaScript um, functions it is not good I don't like this but that's the way it is the getting done so yeah I think <coughs> you understood what I've been doing here I'm making sure <coughs> oh sorry uh, that my script has been loaded and then so if it's loaded then we make sure our flag uh, that uh, hook of app uh, component it says that the script is loaded so maybe we can uh, check it on the uh, this page here now so somewhere yes you see we have the async attribute we have the defer and we have the maps URL that we have assigned and now we don't see this um, error message anymore so it is now ready to program so we connected ourselves to the uh, Google Maps and now we can also see that in the network I think it is loading somewhere it is API but I'm not going to go after this now so we just go forward so we have our um, in our render we have the class name and now it's the time to use that hook that we created script loaded so I'm going to make sure if the script is loaded then load my map component so like that now I can use google.maps map type and I want it to be roadmap and we can use map type control through and, um, let's see how it works now yeah we don't have an error and it says this is my map component so that is what we wanted so this part like the script loaded is important because react is so fast so it just mounts and then it sees okay I need to wait for this so then this event listener is running and it says that okay the set script loaded true because it was false in the beginning so then if it's true we are rendering the map component as well so I guess actually we are done with the um, app uh, component here so it's quite straightforward and um, I will move forward okay maybe we should do this um, dot env uh, env environment variable here hmm. because if you are working for some company or if you have uh, of course the company will provide you uh, this key and it's important and you don't this is a quite uh, private thing so therefore I will not give you a key for free here either so but I'm going to show you like how you can um, make sure that your um, mm, uh, your uh, key can be used here with as with a environment variable so to do that we need to create a, um, a new file and I'm going to call it dot env dot production maybe so did I put it in the correct place no it should be in the root Come on. Yes. So here in an environment file, you can identify um, 
a variable, environment variable, so I'm going to call it React App Google Maps API key and equal to something that is like the let's say this is the API key that um, Google provided to us so what we should do is uh, this way because we are using these codes here we can inject our um, our um, process like environment variable so it's called like process dot env dot it should have actually already recommended me but it didn't hmm. why so this way yeah it should inject my variable but I'm not sure if it's working of course it will not work here but let's see it says undefined yeah it's probably I forgot something with the process environment or maybe I should just call it dot env uh, refactor I'm changing the name of the file yeah. so this help no so okay I'm going to skip this part so this is the way that you are injecting your uh, environment variable I think I'm missing some uh, node module to do that but I'm not uh, going to do this right now and um, so but since we are using now development purposes so this key part will be empty and this dot environment file is not very important so so this is like how you can put it there and I think we should now start coding our uh, map components so the um, render part of our map component it will be quite short because all you need is a reference for the for Google Maps to set up your um, DOM and I'm going to give a class name here like called as map container okay so I give another div inside here an inner div and it will have a um, class name map container underscore map okay so this requires only a little bit of styling and uh, it will be quite easy so just to create like the uh, layer for us to fill in the map and um, I'm not going to write the styling right now so because we have more exciting things to do and uh, we should just see actually how we can refer to that so our map actually will be injected into this uh, DOM element and for Google Maps to be able to know where it will inject the, um, um, the map content it needs to know it needs to get a reference so therefore we need to use like uh, we need to import um, use ref of um, google of react so i'm going to create a reference object here so it will be i will just call it ref i think 99 percent of the developers they do it <laughs> so we just uh, follow and it will be null for the beginning so because it will be empty for now and um, and it needs a type so this will be an html div element okay so i'm going to refer here ref so that's it and of course it will not be the only thing but uh, we will use this uh, ref 
as a um, as an object when we are like starting initialize initializing the uh, Google Map. So and maybe we can um, create also some proper types for us. So if you use type here, I want I don't want to write like as you might have noticed actually here. This is quite like long. And usually all the types that you are getting, you need to write this like Google dot maps dot blah, blah. So this is not very handy. This, it is not readable while you're uh, programming. So I will create my custom types uh, that are referring to um, uh, referring to Google Maps. So um, like for latitude and longitude, uh, longitude um, object, you need to use, for example, um, Google Maps dot lot. Uh, maybe this way, lot LNG. So this is a data type that's coming from um, Google Maps uh, node module. And for the map in TypeScript, for the map object, I will call it Google Map. And it will be like google.maps.map, for example. That's how they define it. So, so this will be like, it's just easier. If you write it this way, it will also work but I don't like how it looks and it's easier when you are talking. So what we need is a, we need a hook again here. So because when we initialize uh, to be able to, uh, when we initialize the map uh, that I'm going to show you quite soon, we need to um, um, make sure that it has been, it's not been already like initialized. So therefore we need uh, hook that I'm going to call it map and uh, set map okay and it will be of type it will be of type Google map of course like my custom type here and um, it will be empty for the beginning so um, okay so we need to make sure that uh, we initialize this hook when the component is actually mounting, right? So I'm going to create another use effect here. So it will be, actually, I don't want to do it this way. I want to assume that I have a, I call a function to do that, okay? So, and whenever map is having an update, this function will be triggered. And I create my start map function here. So this function will return nothing. So I call it void. So, so, so what this function will do, it will check if the map hook is undefined or null, it will be calling another function where I'm doing uh, my map stuff actually. So, so this is actually like how I'm starting it. Maybe it wasn't very necessary here at this part, but uh, we just leave this one here like to do because a map can have like different ways of uh, initial initialization. So I will create uh, my um, other function where I call it like default map start. Okay, because upon your preference, you may have different um, um, ways of starting your map because there are, as I said earlier, there are so many parameters. So, but we will just uh, go for the uh, default one. And um, this arrow function, this arrow function will have, um, so while before you actually start your map, you need to have um, address, 
like where which will be like the focus address of your map so i'm going to create a function uh, create a constant to do that and this requires a um, latitude longitude um, object maybe we can do it this way mm, where is it google can i do it this way no because this is a type it's not a function so we need the function yes lot lng function so this function it takes as written here like uh, two number one latitude and one for longitude so i'm just going to write uh, this way like uh, these are like some location in norway and yeah let's leave it this way so and i'm going to use this for my other function that i will create which will be in its map okay so it goes like a matrushka so in its map because you may have different types of different uh, locations to like uh, start your um, start your um, map so i thought it, it's handy to have another function which is like doing actually the real work with some parameters so this init map will take a value for zoom level that is important one of the parameters of google maps so it's a number and i want an address of course so and this address will be um, google latitude longitude object like default address like you see here so we are like creating this uh, object so we will use it here and it will not do it will not return anything either therefore i call it void so okay now things will start making sense so if our reference dot current is available which is this we will uh, set our hook set map okay with what so the set map what type it is let's check it it's a google map type which is this so that means we need a google map object so but how can we get this so to do that we have another function coming from google maps which will be an object so we start with new and we call it google.maps.map so this will create um, your real like map object with all of its attributes so it requires as the first parameter uh, our current so i check the ref current here in case because then typescript starts complaining if it's it might be null or it might be undefined that's what it thinks so so that's why we do this if check here so and the uh, second uh, argument of this is quite tricky so this is the part that where the core of it is happening and so we will use here like the zoom level which is actually called zoom these are like descriptions that are coming from uh, google maps uh, documentation so we will like center it where you will center it you will give the address here like google latitude longitude uh, object it will be my address here that's coming as the parameter to my function so i want my map to have map type control which is my props that you may recall it here that we define it and in the app we decided it to be true now it's not complaining so 
there is like no end of these parameters like uh, i don't want for example street view control okay i will set it as false so this helps the users to go through the streets and uh, i don't know so we can have a zoom control for example and it will be true we can have uh, yes important actually we forgot the important parameter here map top id you remember this map top id that i set it here it should it could be roadmap or hybrid or whatever so i'm making my map component to receive this as an uh, as a uh, prop so that it will just render the way the, the value that it is receiving so i call it map type so that is coming here so i don't know like we may have uh, there are so many different uh, parameters as well so but i'm going to like uh, stop it here so of course i think i made a mistake with the semicolon so this is how we return the map object so that this hook will be set so that it will have a map value and now let's go backwards so we created this init map but we create default map start right so i can call now my init map and uh, i want the zoom level to be like four or yeah five let's say so and i already have a place to zoom like center address so it will be my default address so that's good but i'm where am i going to call my default map start i'm going to call it here so i can start my default map when the map is not ready yet so we go here this creates my um, zoom focus and uh, then i go further if the reference is ready then i'm setting it up so i think that's it this will create our google map but of course we don't see anything the reason for this is our map is probably zero pixel right now because we did not do any styling so you remember my uh, class name that i gave there and close this close that one as well so it was map container so this is my selector map container okay and i want it to be like display flex i may want to justify content like to center okay and inside of this selector we have another one which is called like underscore underscore map so i can use the uh, ampersand and i will give some height and width to my um, map dom reference i want it width to be like 80 percent let's say okay so do we see it why don't we see it yet hmm we do not have any api keys it's giving a warning so could it be the reason yes i think that's the reason we don't have but it should we should see the uh, development uh, control part actually for developers only part mm. Mm -hmm. we have this loaded we have some stuff loaded here but i think the map is not coming because i don't have the correct api key so yeah 
whatever this is what i want to show you and uh, i don't <laughs> i'm having a temptation actually uh, to use the api key but i should not do that so i quite make sure that this is working and um, because i did it so many times before so uh, i hope you enjoyed my course and um, I'm going to share uh, the um, GitHub repository of this um, uh, in a public uh, repository. And uh, also in the description, I will put the uh, YouTube video. Um, so I hope you learned something new and you had some fun and thank you. Bye.